Hi, kindergarten. I'm going to read you the story, The Grouchy Ladybug, by Eric Carle. So in this story, Eric Carle, who's this man right here, he wrote the story, but he also painted all the pictures. Eric Carle is an author and an illustrator. And you can probably see right here, Eric Carle has painted different pieces of paper, different colors, with different designs and patterns. And that is how he makes all his art. He cuts them out and pieces them together. And this story has a lot of his artwork in it, so let's get into it. The Grouchy Ladybug. What does grouchy mean? Grouchy means like upset or angry or mad. And look, look what Eric Carl painted. He looks like he got some green paint. Oh, and some dark green paint and some maybe some yellow paint. And when he did those strokes, it looks like what? Does look like grass, doesn't it? The grouchy ladybug. And look. We learn that ladybugs have two sets of wings. A set of wings on the outside that has a hard shell and then some paper thin clear wings right underneath. And they help the ladybug, what? Fly. And how many legs does a ladybug have? Six. And when you have six legs, you are an insect. All right, here we go. It was night, and some fireflies danced round the moon. Dance, dance, dance. Well, at five o'clock in the morning, that looks like this. At five o'clock in the morning, the sun came up, and a friendly ladybug flew in from the left and saw a leaf with many aphids on it. Yum, 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 yum. What do ladybugs eat? Yeah, they eat aphids. And it's really good they do because, to be honest, aphids are not a very kind bug. Aphids hurt plants and leaves. And the plants are probably feeling right now, ouch, 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 somebody is eating holes through me. And so God created ladybugs to rescue those leaves from being hurt by the aphids. So the leaves are very thankful when the ladybugs come to eat the aphids. Well, again, a friendly ladybug flew in from the left. It saw a leaf with many aphids on it and decided to have them for its breakfast. But just then, a grouchy ladybug flew in from the right. It too saw the aphids and wanted them for breakfast. Has that ever happened to you before? When you and another person wanted the same thing, maybe the same food or the same toy or go on the same slide. What do you do when two of you want the same thing? You share or you take turns, exactly. Let's see if the, the grouchy ladybug does that. Good morning, said the friendly ladybug. Go away, shouted the grouchy ladybug. I want those aphids. Well, we can share them, suggested the friendly ladybug. No, they are mine, all mine, screamed the grouchy ladybug. Or do you want to fight me for them? Hmm. Well, if you insist, answered the friendly ladybug sweetly. It looked the other bug straight in the eye, and the grouchy ladybug stepped back. It looked less sure of itself. Oh, well, you're not big enough for me to fight, it said. Well, then why don't you pick on somebody bigger? I'll do that, screeched the grouchy ladybug, and I'll show you puffed itself up and flew away. 
Friendly Ladybug wanted a share. Grouchy Ladybug wanted the aphids all to himself. And he even said, you want to fight me for them? And she wasn't scared, so she said, okay. And he thought, oh, maybe I should find somebody else to pick on. Well, at six o'clock, do you see the time right there? Shorthand is on the six, longhand is on the 12. At six o'clock, it met a yellow jacket. And it said, hey, you wanna fight? If you insist, said the yellow jacket, showing its stinger. Oh, you're not big enough, said the grouchy ladybug, and it flew off. <gasps> Do you think the ladybug was scared of that stinger? I think so. That's why it said, you're not big enough. Well, you know what time comes right after six o'clock? Seven o'clock. And so at seven o'clock, it met a, do you know what that is? A stag beetle. And it said, ready? Can you say it with me? Hey, you wanna fight? If you insist, said the beetle, showing its jaws. <gasps> oh, you're not big enough for me to fight anyways. So it flew off. Well, then, at 8 o'clock, it came across a praying mantis. And it said, hey, you, want to fight? If you insist, said the praying mantis, reaching out its fr long front legs. Oh, you're not big enough, said the grouchy ladybug, and it flew off. Would you be scared of a praying mantis and its long front legs? Yeah, probably if you were that ladybug, huh? Well, you know what time comes after 8 o'clock? 9 o'clock. At 9 o'clock, it flew into a sparrow. Hey, you, said the great grouchy ladybug, wanna fight? If you insist, said the sparrow, opening its sharp beak. Oh, you're not big enough, said the grouchy ladybug, and flew off. That sharp beak could probably eat that ladybug. Well, what time comes after nine o'clock? 10 o'clock. And at 10 o'clock, it saw a, what is that? A lobster. And it said, hey, you, wanna fight? If you insist, said the lobster, stretching out its claws. Oh, you're not big enough, said the grouchy ladybug, and flew off. Ooh, sharp claws. Well then, after 10 o'clock comes, 11 o'clock and at 11 o'clock it bumped into a skunk and what did the ladybug say say can you say it with me ready hey you wanna fight if you insist said the skunk lifting its tail oh you're not big enough said the grouchy ladybug and flew off mm. When the skunk starts to lift its tail, it's about to spray out something stinky. So the grouchy ladybug does not want that. Well, then after 11 o'clock comes 12 o'clock. And another way we say 12 o'clock is we say noon. So at 12 noon, it spotted a boa constrictor. And it said... Hey, you, wanna fight? If you insist, said the snake, right after my lunch. <gasps> What's the snake about to eat? Mm, that poor squirrel. 
Oh, you're not big enough, said the grouchy ladybug and flew off. And at one o'clock, it happened upon a hyena. Ready? Say it with me. Hey, you, wanna fight? If you insist, said the hyena, laughing eerily and showing its teeth. Oh, you're not big enough, said the grouchy ladybug and flew off. Can you laugh like a hyena? <laughs> Hyenas are known for their, their creepy laughs. And so that scared the ladybug. Well then, right after one o'clock comes two o'clock. And at two o'clock, it met a gorilla. And it said to the gorilla, ready? Hey, you. Wanna fight? If you insist, said the gorilla, beating its chest. Oh, you're not big enough, said the grouchy ladybug and flew off. Can you pound your chest like a gorilla? It reminds me of Gordo Gorilla. Gordo, Gordo Gorilla says g, g, g. Mm hmm. Well, after two o'clock class comes what time? Three o'clock. And at three o'clock, it ran into a rhinoceros and it said, Hey, you, wanna fight? If you insist, said the rhinoceros, lowering its horn. <gasps> oh, well, you, you're not big enough, said the grouchy ladybug. And it flew off. Sharp horn sure scared off the ladybug. At four o'clock, four o'clock, it encountered an elephant. Ready, everyone make an elephant noise. And it said, Hey, you wanna fight? If you insist, said the elephant, raising its trunk and showing its big tusks. Oh, well, uh, you're not big enough, said the grouchy ladybug and flew off. Look how tiny that ladybug is in comparison of that big, strong elephant with sharp tusks. So then, after four o'clock, it becomes five o'clock. And at five o'clock, the ladybug met a whale. And it said, hey, you wanna fight? But the whale did not answer at all. And the ladybug said, oh, well, you're not big enough anyway. And it flew off. <laughs> Who's bigger, the ladybug or the whale? course, the ladybug, not the whale. And then at 515, the grouchy ladybug said to one of the whale's flippers, ready? To the flipper it said, hey you, wanna fight? But it got no answer, so it flew on. Do flippers say anything back to you? No. But the flipper was so big that the ladybug thought it was another animal. So it's going to fly on to the fin. And at 5.30, which is halfway between 5 o'clock and 6 o'clock, the grouchy ladybug said to the whale's fin, Ready? Hey, you, wanna fight? But it got no answer. So it flew on. Even the whale's fin is bigger than the ladybug. Well then, at a quarter to six o'clock, so that's 5.45, the grouchy ladybug said to the whale's tail, <laughs> it said, ready? Hey, you, 
wanna fight. And the whale's tail gave the ladybug such a slap that it flew across the sea and across the land. And at six o'clock, the grouchy ladybug arrived right back where it had started from. Who's that? That's the friendly ladybug, remember her? And she says, ah, you're here again. You must be hungry. There are still some aphids left and you can have them for dinner. Oh, thank you said the wet, tired, and hungry ladybug. Wow, do you remember how mean the grouchy ladybug was to the friendly ladybug? He was telling her, go away, I'm gonna fight you, these are all mine. And you know what? She never treated him back the same way. Instead, she showed kindness. She was willing to share the aphids with him. That's a very nice ladybug. And that's how we can all be to our friends. Even if some, if some people are mean to us or, sh or say unkind things, we don't have to say that back to them. We can show kindness and God's love. And soon all the aphids were gone. Thank you, said the leaf. You're welcome answered back both ladybugs, and they went to sleep. <coughs> the fireflies, who had been sleeping in all day, came out to dance around the moon. Dance, 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 dance. Why did the leaves say thank you to the ladybugs? Exactly because aphids are hurting the leaves. And the ladybugs ate them all up, so they're happy and they're thankful. Well, I love this story. It's one of my favorite Eric Carle stories. And now we're gonna do a craft. So in your craft packet, it's the packet that has all your craft materials in it, you're gonna grab three things from it, okay? It's attached with all the ladybug stuff. First, you're gonna grab this circle, and it has some writing on the bottom, so this paper. You're also gonna grab the clock, and the last thing you're gonna grab is the ladybug's body, okay? So I need you to grab those three things right now. The worksheet with the circle, the clock, and the ladybug's body. You are also going to need a pencil and crayons, scissors, and glue. Your glue stick, please. All right, go ahead and grab all those items. Go! All right, you're back, and I can show you what craft you're gonna make. Today we're making a ladybug, and inside the ladybug, you are going to draw the shorthand and long hand, the minute and hour hand, on the clock. And we're also gonna retell the story. So, in this story, the ladybug came across many different kinds of insects and animals. The bee, the beetle, the praying mantis, the sparrow, the lobster, and so on, right? There was a lot of animals it met. Well, you're gonna pick one animal it met. I'm gonna tell you the time it met it. What you're gonna do is, you're gonna write the time here so in the story, the ladybug met the boa constrictor at 12 o'clock. So I drew 12 o'clock here and wrote the number one, two, 
with the two dots and then zero, zero. And I wrote the word boa constrictor. So that's what you're going to do. You're going to write the time, sorry, draw the time with the arrows. Write the time here on the top. Write the name of the animal it, it met. Then, using real colors, draw the picture of the animal and the ladybug. So not just the animal, but you gotta draw both of them, the ladybug and the animal. So I looked at that bow and constrictor in my book. That was at 12 o'clock. Do you see what color the boa constrictor is in the story? It's green, right? And so my bow and constrictor is also green. Okay, well there's a lot to choose from, right? So I'm gonna show you each animal and the time that, it's, that the ladybug met it. And that way you can pause the video so you can take a good look at it, write the time, write the time here, and write the animal's name and the picture, okay? But actually before we do that, what I want you to do is I want you to get your clock and I want you to trace the numbers. So all the numbers are dotted and I want you to trace them. I want you to start at 12 and then go to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So go ahead and do that, get your pencil, and trace the numbers. We'll do it together. So 12, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So you should have traced each number. Okay, then get your pencil and you're going to make the long hands, remember in, on the clock, there's a long arrow and there's a short arrow. Well, everybody, everybody is going to make a long arrow to 12 o'clock. Everybody is going to make a long arrow to 12 o'clock. So like that, I put the arrow right underneath the 12. Go ahead and do that too. Okay, now I don't know which animal you're gonna pick. So I'm not gonna tell you where to put the shorthand because you're gonna figure that out right now. So first again, let me show you what it should look like when it's completed. You've already traced all the numbers. You've drawn the long hand or the long arrow to the 12. Still need to draw one more arrow. Then whatever animal you pick, you write the time, you write the name, and then you draw it with the ladybug, with crayons. Okay, so this is where you pause the video if this is, what, if this is the animal you want to draw, okay? All right, well, the first insect it found was a bee, the stag, sorry, the yellow jacket. Okay, so hold on before you pause it. You gotta look at the time. It met the yellow jacket at six o'clock. So there's a short arrow to the six. Okay, that's what you would draw if you want to do the yellow jacket. All right, go ahead and pause it. If you want to do the yellow jacket at six o'clock, go. All right. Then at seven o'clock, that means the short arrow is pointing to the seven. At seven o'clock, it met a stag beetle. 
So if you want to draw the stag beetle at 7 o'clock, this is where you pause it. Okay. At 8 o'clock, that means the shorthand is to the 8, you are going to draw the praying mantis. So pause it if you want to do the praying mantis at 8 o'clock. All right. 9 o'clock, shorthand or short arrow to the 9. It meant a sparrow. So pause it if you want to do the sparrow. It's nine o'clock. At ten o'clock, that means the short arrow is pointing to the ten. It saw a lobster. At ten o'clock, it saw a lobster. Go ahead and pause it if you want to do the lobster. At 11 o'clock, that means it's pointing to the 11, it meant a skunk. Please pause it if you want to draw the skunk. At 12 noon, so that means both short arrow and long arrow are pointing to the 12, it meant a boa constrictor. So if you would like to do the boa constrictor, not this one, because we're just doing the boa constrictor and the ladybug, pause it. At one o'clock, it met a hyena. So please pause it if you want to do the hyena. Two o'clock, I met a gorilla. So please pause it if you want to do the gorilla. At three o'clock, I met a rhinoceros. So please pause it if you want to do the rhinoceros. Four o'clock, it met an elephant. So go ahead and pause the video. You would like to draw the elephant at four o'clock. At five o'clock, it met a whale. All right, well this whale, I gotta show you the whole thing and then you can draw it, okay? So this is the first part of the whale at five o'clock. <laughs> this is its body. And more of its body. And the tail. So obviously you gotta fit it in that small, in that circle I gave you. But now you know what the head, I'll pause at the head. That's probably the most complicated part. Okay, pause it if you want to do the whale. You can also pause it here for the next part. And then pause it here for the tail. Okay. So I'm going to show you some examples of kindergartners from a couple years, from last year. So they were your age when they did this of what they drew. So this is the sparrow at nine o'clock. See how she used real colors? This is a picture of a kindergartner doing a whale at five o'clock. Another whale at five o'clock. Another whale at five o'clock. The yellow jacket at six o'clock. More yellow jacket at six o'clock. 
a whale at five o'clock. The praying mantis at eight o'clock. The boa constrictor at 12 o'clock. Let's do one more. And the hyena at one o'clock. So I know it might be difficult to draw those animals, but if those kindergartners can do it, that means you can do it too. So just pause the video, look at it, use the right colors, and then draw it. Okay, when you're all done, this is what you're going to do. So after you finish, maybe I'll, I'll do this one to show you. So I'll do that... What is it, seven, six o'clock I met the yellow jacket? I'm gonna write the number six, dot, dot, zero, zero. Six o'clock, it met a, I'm gonna write the word yellow, Y-E-L-L-O-W spelled yellow. Finger space jacket, special sound C-K. Then I would get my crayons, which I would need my yellow crayon. I would look at that picture and try my best to draw it. So it has a stinger. It has a head. has six legs because it's an insect. It has antennas. It has wings. And black stripes. Remember, it was the stinger that made the ladybug scared of it and pretend that it was not big enough for her or him. Color it in. I'm taking my time because I want to do my best work. I know you can't see it yet, but I'll show you when I'm done. It's got some black beady eyes. Did you know bees actually have five eyes? Did you know that? We'll learn about bees next week, actually. So we've done butterflies, ladybugs, the next week is, is bees. And I used to be really scared of bees when I was younger, but then I learned how much they help our world and our plants. So I love and appreciate bees so much. And I don't have to be afraid of them. Okay, so I've done my yellow jacket, and now I gotta draw the ladybug, the grouchy ladybug. I'm going to get my red crayon and my black crayon. Make some wings first. Then add the black body. And remember, ladybugs also have six legs. Because they are insects. Okay, so something like that. Then, remember this paper with the clock? Well, I drew the yellow jacket. That was six o'clock. So that means I gotta draw the shorthand to the six, like that. Or the short arrow to the six. Okay, now we're gonna cut both of these out. 
and glue them on here. So let me show you how to do that. First, I need scissors. I'll be right back. Okay, so we're gonna cut them out, the, the clock, and then your picture. Okay, there's my clock. Now, I cut out the picture. I want to make sure I'm cutting very carefully on the line because I'm sure all of you did your best work and you wouldn't want to cut off any of your work, right? Okay, so I have my two things cut out, the clock and my picture, and I'm going to glue my clock, oops, not that side, here. Okay, this is also really important. Everybody needs to glue the, okay, because I know it's reversed. So if you're holding the body in front of you, everybody should draw the, should glue the clock with the ladybug face, uh, sorry. Everyone should glue the clock on the head and the head should be on your left side. So if you're holding your ladybug up in front of you, parents, this is probably where you need to help your child, the head should be on the left side of you. The head should be the left and the big body on the right. If you flip it this way, then the head is to the right and the body is to the left. So make sure the head is on the left and then you glue it like that. So that's what I'm gonna do. Get my glue stick, not my glue bottle because the paper's too thin for that. Glue, glue, glue. That's enough. Place it on the head that's on the left side of me. Then glue on my picture. I'll show you in just a second. Glue, glue, glue. Sometimes if we don't put enough glue, it won't stick for a long time. Oops. Stick that on the body. Just like that. Okay, so clock, picture, and that's it for today. Tomorrow, you're gonna do the wings and add the polka dots and the eyes, okay? So again, you're gluing the clock. First, sorry, you're writing the numbers on the clock. You're writing the time. You're writing the time here, what the animal is, drawing it with the ladybug, then cutting both out gluing the clock on the head that's facing left, and then your picture on the body facing right. And that's it for today. Okay, that's it. All right, you're all done. And you know what? If there was like a time or a picture that you missed or you didn't see, um, just go back and pause it. Or you can also have your parents message me and I can show, I can take a picture of it with my phone and send it to them. All right, KV, great job today. You worked really hard and I'm very proud of you. Bye.